this was not the video I was originally going to do, but I changed my mind after someone uh, did a comment on one of my Twitter posts today. And I want to talk about it because I actually thought it was really good. So this is going to be a get ready for bed with Amanda. <laughs> so the post I did was distilling down my one year carnivore journey into a sentence. And the sentence I came up with was, to get any permanent improvements, I had to be willing to have permanent change. And that is what made me realize all of the yo-yo dieting that I've ever done, I failed because I wanted to do something temporary to get permanent results, but that's not how it works. If we want something permanent, we have to be willing to make permanent changes. And so that's pretty much what I've learned. If I summed up my entire journey in a sentence, that's what it is. And the response was, what emotional changes have you noticed along your journey? And the thing is, is a lot. Even more now, lately than in the beginning. If you go back and watch some of my original videos, you can see a huge difference in how I hold myself, the language, my actual voice, my personality was covered in fat. I had hidden myself inside and through the weight loss, if you hear panting, that's for you. <laughs> through the weight loss and things like that, it has been able to come out and shine. But the emotional part of it is I, in the beginning, felt worthless. I literally, I mean, is there anything lower than pond scum? Because that's how I felt about myself. How could you let yourself get to 360 pounds, Amanda? How could you let yourself be so disgusting and fat and such a terrible human being? You are a waste of space on this planet. Those were just a few of the things I used to say to myself. I was very emotionally painful. And if you've watched any of my other videos about this, you guys have seen that I was just slowly committing suicide. Death by eating, death by gluttony. And that's where I was. I was too afraid to do anything about it. And the one thing that used to always go through my mind is I had a patient that had attempted to commit suicide when I worked in the hospital in Minnesota and she did not succeed and it left her in a very bad state physically. I mean, mentally probably even worse. And it's such a dark place. It's like being in the darkest of dark caves. If you've ever been spelunking, there's, it's so dark down there that it's just, it's literally pure black. And that's what you feel like you live in, in that. And that's, that is exactly where I was at. I'd given up hope, didn't believe in myself. On the emotional side of it, I was apathetic. It's a very weird feeling to explain. I was apathetic about life, but also severely depressed and sad. I just didn't care. Didn't care if I got out of bed, didn't care if I brushed my teeth, didn't care, just didn't care. Food was my only thing I had. My ability to regulate my emotions did not exist. <laughs> just didn't exist. And then carnivore, <laughs> so there's a lot of sadness. And then carnivore, it just, within a few weeks, it was like a light switch just being flipped. Went from the apathy leaving to my emotions started to be regulated where I wasn't just being controlled by them. Like I was a bag in the wind and my emotions were the wind blowing Amanda around. That, I, just a slow change of one, I think it's a few things. One, getting the inflammation down out of the body, getting all the toxins, all the chemicals, all the fast food, restaurant food, seed oils, sugar, everything out. Getting the overall inflammation down because I was a type 2 diabetic and having elevated glucose levels. But also being my word, deciding that I did matter, even though in the beginning it, it 
it was very hard and I believed this much, but then that grew more and more. And the more I was my word and did the things I said I would do, being more active, pushing myself, that grew my integrity. And that is what grew my emotional change. And I think, I don't want to say personality change, but it just changed me as a person. The growth that comes with it, that just, I can't, can't even explain it. Going from being, doing not a great job of explaining it right now either, just going from not caring if you live to waking up every morning being glad you woke up, looking forward to going to sleep. So you look forward to waking up in the morning versus going to bed every single night hoping you don't wake up in the next morning. That is a complete 180. Um, and that's what doing this has done. Carnivore has been life-saving, but it's not just, and I really want to reiterate this, it's not just carnivore. Carnivore was like the it opened up the space that I had the ability to have that introspection and look inside look at my demons because carnivore doesn't get rid of all the baggage and the things and the angst that we've held on to for the years and years and years we've been alive. There was a, uh, a gentleman I listened to a long time ago and I don't remember his name but he pretty much said imagine all your pain and anger and everything you put in a luggage case. And when that got full, you got another one. And he's like, if you go to meet someone, like you're going to date someone and you have 50 baggages of luggage and they have 70 baggages of luggage, you go to each other and you shake your hand and you're like, hi, I'm Amanda. Hi, I'm Scott. And yet you see all this baggage behind them. Are you going to want to be with them? No, <laughs> you're not going to want to be with someone that has all that luggage, that angst and pain they're carrying around. And Carnivore gave me the space with Jordan Peterson's 12 Rules and Atomic Habits, restoring my integrity to be able to let go of that luggage, those angst and pains and the whole reason that I got to 360 pounds. That's been the emotional change. And you can't really re reply to that too well in a tweet like that. But that, that's my answer. Like, it's been a profound internal change doing this. But I also, at the same time, I think it's the reason that things have been so successful is because it's not a temporary thing, you know? It's work on myself. I'm never going back there because not knowing something and doing something incorrectly is different than knowing it's done incorrectly and choosing to. And right now I've gotten to the point in my life where I know and I can't deny it anymore, which I think personally is worse if you know and you still choose to do it. Not that I'm judging anybody, I'm just talking about myself. <laughs> I have no right to judge anybody. And actually we, none of us do. Anyways, I'm rambling at this point, but that that has been a huge thing so if you are depressed and living in that pit of doom that i had lived in since i was 12 it took me till i turned 32 years old to climb out of that pit that is a profound change from 20 years of living in pretty much hell of my own making but hell nonetheless, to sunshine, to discovering that I want to be a part of life. I want to have a positive impact on the world. I want to go and explore and try new things. And you know what? <laughs> Who cares if I look like an idiot? The paddle boarding the first time, right? All of this profound change. Ah. Well, I'm finish it up because I'm just yammering on at this point. If you have not tried something new recently, do it. It is so invigorating, even if you're terrible 
at it. Go do something new. It doesn't necessarily have to be paddle boarding or bicycling or something physical, although I'm a big advocate of that. Do something new. Dancing, I don't know, skydiving if that's your thing. Do something new. It helps stimulate the mind. It helps motor neuron pathways. It helps expand us and expand our horizons. And I'll leave it at that. So that's my emotional change. <laughs> Summed up into a lot of words. I appreciate you guys so very much. I am super excited. It is the night before our meetup. We are doing it tomorrow, which would be Saturday, which is probably the day you're watching this. And I will be bitter about getting footage for you guys. I appreciate you. Don't forget our next meetup is August 19th. We only have a few seats left. We're gonna be doing the rail cycle at Mount Rainier. I'm very excited about that. Anyways, I appreciate you guys. I will talk to you soon. Thank you for getting ready for bed with me. Good night, bye.